Time now to go behind enemy lines, taking a look at the Pittsburgh Steelers. We're joined by Will Graves of the Associated Press. He covers the Steelers. And of course, Behind Enemy Lines is presented by Microsoft Teams. Well, the Steelers are 5-0, and and they're playing well on both sides of the ball. Their run defense has been giving up just 66 yards per game. Why has Pittsburgh been so good against the run? I think part of that is the fact that they've played with a lead a lot. So teams have maybe been forced to throw more than they wanted to. Let's remember in week one, I mean, they, they absolutely shut down Saquon Barkley. Everyone is aware that Derrick Henry is a different beast than sort of they faced this season. I was talking to Cam Hayward this morning, and he basically said they need to put some linebackers and move them to, to running back this week to mimic what they're going to expect from Derrick. So I think this is going to be a very different challenge than they faced this year. Well, the Pittsburgh Steelers lead the National Football League with 24 quarterback sacks. What jumps out to me looking at the stats is it's not just one guy. They have a bunch of guys that can get after the passer. Talk about the group of Steelers who have recorded sacks this year and played well. That's sort of been their MO for the last several years. I mean, they're on their way to leading the league in sacks, I believe, for the third straight year. Their streak of 62 straight games with a sack is the longest active streak in the league and the fourth and longest in NFL history. And it's not just the outside linebackers. I mean, they have two great ones in Bud Dupree and TJ Watt. But, you know, you've got Stephon Tewitt, who missed most of last season with an injury. He's back on the defensive line, playing very well. Kim Hayward may be playing the best football of his career. And the one thing they're really doing is keeping quarterbacks in the pocket. And I think when that happens, that just sort of opens up opportunities for whoever gets free first to get there. On offense, the Steelers have their run game going again. And James Conner really seems to have taken over as that lead back. What does he do so well? The way that he's running is not a way that I imagined him being successful running in the NFL. That's a tribute both to, to his commitment to his body and also to the fact that the Steelers, particularly this year, I think, they're not trying to overuse him. I think they're limiting his touches to 17 to 20, and that has made him effective and fresh. Chase Claypool is one of the surprise rookies of the 2020 season. Even the Pittsburgh staff a little surprised at how quickly Claypool has been able to make an impact, Will? A little bit. Because there was no preseason games, he did not have to be bothered learning what a very vanilla game plan was for a given week. He could just sort of dive right into it, and I think that's allowed him to really grasp things much more quickly. I think he's proved to be faster than a lot of people thought he would be. I mean, he's a matchup problem. He's six foot four and 235 pounds, and he, and he can run away from you. Will Graves taking us behind enemy lines presented by Microsoft Teams. Thanks very much, Will. Absolutely.